y'all welcome back to my channel i am doing another makeup tutorial for you all as you can see it's a cut crease a little a little bit dramatic and a little bit popping so yeah definitely if you guys want to see how i created this look keep on watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and tell someone about my channel hashtag sheree love makeup Okay, I already filled in my eyebrows with Anastasia's Chocolate Pomade. I'm going to use LA Girls Pro Concealer in the color Fawn to carve out and clean up my brows. Okay, here I'm just blending out the concealer and you guys know the drill. I've done this so many times. If you guys want to see a more detailed eyebrow full tutorial, definitely comment down below and I will try to make that happen for you. Okay, now taking this e.l.f. makeup palette in medium to brown, I'm going to take a darker color over the top of my brows just to make it easy for blending. Okay, after getting my eyebrows all cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and use this brow mascara to just help darken in and define my brows a little bit more. It was by Ruby Kisses in the color Dark Brown. Now I'm just taking whatever's left on my brush. I'm going to go ahead and make little dash marks in the front of my brows just to give it more of a realistic hair effect. Also taking this fawn concealer and using that to kind of mute out any darkness that is on my lid. And this is the Jordana primer. I'm going to prime my lids with this. Okay, now I'm just going to take this e.l.f. flat liner brush and I'm going to use their gel liner to go ahead and start making the cut crease. And I'm just going to just take small strokes. Take your time. It's no rush. You have to take your time with this as much as possible because you want that line to be crispy. Crispy, crispy. So, yeah. take this Japanese blending brush and I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and I'm getting that dark brown shade and you guys can see I switched up my brush to more of a pointed brush just to make sure that I get this as crisp as I possibly can without going below the line. taking the Sigma blending brush here don't know which brush it is I will leave it in the description below but I'm just going to use that to blend out the brown shade that we put down and it's okay to go back in with some more of the gel liner if after blending the line is not as sharp as you would like it so that's what I'm doing here I'm just adding a little more black to deepen the line I guess that's the right terminology. <laughs> Deep in the line. Okay, now I'm going to take the Jordana primer and the same black brush I used to apply the line. And I'm going to go ahead and carve out the line. I feel like I'm saying the line a lot, but I'm going to carve out the line. The line. The line. <laughs> As you guys can see here, I am really taking my time looking back and forth at my viewfinder to make sure I'm in the shot. Yes, I said in the shot. So, yeah, I'm just making sure I'm taking my time because we want this to be as sharp as we can get it. Okay, I 
as you can see I'm just going back and fixing up any little mess ups that I may have done and swinging that product down over the lid so that we can have our base for our lid color and then after that you just want to take a setting powder preferably one without color to it well not a bright color this one is the Sasha Buttercup I'm just going to take that to set my lid and that's going to help my eyeshadow not crease shortly after that I'm going to go ahead and take my favorite liquid eyeliner by NYC in, in black and I'm going to use that to do the wing and yeah guys I chose to use a liquid eyeliner because it gives me more control with the brush as well as more pigmentation and I don't have to use so many eyeshadow products to or so much eyeshadow to make the black stand out more so yeah this is why we use our liquid liner allowing that to dry just a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and go on the Gwen Stefani palette and get this color black out and I'm just gonna use that to set the black liquid liner that we put down okay on our lid we're gonna be using the LA colors shimmering dust and I'm going to go ahead and use Elf's Lock and Seal to go ahead and make that more pigmented. And yeah, I'm going to pack that all in the center of the lid. this color here and I'm going to use a eyeshadow brush to go ahead and highlight my brow bone with this color. Now going into the Gwen Stefani palette I'm going to go ahead and use a similar color to the base that I have on my lid to kind of set the inside of that cut crease. Taking a wipe now, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up around the cut crease and any makeup fallout that have happened. And now we're applying lashes. Voila, there we go. Okay, taking whatever mascara you have, I'm gonna use the Benefits Their Real Mascara to go ahead and blend my lashes in a little bit more with the falsies. Okay, I've already primed my skin with the Black Radiance Oil Free Primer and now I'm taking the Becca Primer and I'm going to go ahead and put that in my T-zone because a girl gets nice and oily. Yes, oily. Okay, now for foundation, I'm using Revlon's uh, Color Stay Foundation in the color 440, I believe it is. And I'm just going to get that all applied. I kind of moved through this kind of quick because it's, you know, ritual same process color correcting and as you're going to notice in here I did highlight but I'm not going to go through the you know process of showing you where I place the highlight because you guys can see that in so many other videos and I'm just using my damp beauty blender here and my fix plus spray to dampen the beauty blender to blend out blend blend out my foundation for more of a flawless seamless look
course, as always, you guys know the drill. I am using my Fawn Concealer by LA Girls and the Sasha Buttercup to set that highlight that I've already blended out off camera. And I'm going to allow that to do what? Bake, bake boo, bake boo, bake boo. <laughs> now I'm taking the Contour Powder by Queen Cover Girl Collection in Ebony Bronze. You know I always use this. Okay, you guys already know I'm always having some little jam session <laughs> real quick. And right here I'm just filling in my brows. It's a hair more. And I'm going in now with, oh Lord, there she go again. There she go again. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all ain't ready, boo. Hey, that's that. Hey. Okay guys and gals, I am taking this e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm using that to just wipe away the setting powder because she's officially baked. Okay now using my favorite powder, it is by Maybelline Fit Me and it's the color 355. Just using that to kind of blend things out and to even the highlight and all the colors and bring it together. Yeah. feel about this nose being snatched going in with my glow kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills in sun dip and I'm just gonna go ahead and glow oh my gosh this palette gives me life this is my favorite if you guys know of any other glow kits or anything put your girl on so I can go cop that yes She's glowing, she's glowing, and now that she's glowing, we can't be ashy, so I'm gonna use some EOS to tackle these lips. We'll leave the colors of this lipstick and lip liner in the description down below, and I'm just gonna get these lips together. and apply some Bobbi Brown blush. I will leave it in the description bar below of the name of this blush. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and use Essence uh, Princess Lash, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that to kind of darken in my bottom lashes. And that just about wraps it up, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thumb this video up and watch my latest videos. <laughs>